Hello? Hello, hello? Uh, how am I sounding? S audio check. Check, check. <laughs> <clears throat> Audio good. Yeah. Audio. Audio is good. Nice. Hello. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? We still got two minutes left. Oh, I just realized I do not have my icon on. <laughs> I will open it. Hold on. I have appeared. <laughs> Invisible jo I, I am. I've got my invisibility cloak on. Hide in the way. It's a, it's a magic. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one way to put it. Hello, Joanne. Uh, I don't know if Kevin's here. I saw him in the beginning of the chat. I don't know if you're still here, Kevin, but... Hello, Joanne. My fellow mods. I'm a wizard? What? No way. Hey, Kevin. Hello. You know, Josh just, just doesn't have the same ring as, like, Harry. You know, like, you're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Josh. <laughs> Unless, I guess, you say, like, the full name Joshua. You're a wizard, Joshua. I don't know. That sounds weird. <laughs> Doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> Doesn't like roll off the tongue the same way. <clears throat> I see some people have an art block. Hope, hope the art block goes away soon. Get drawing. But you know, you can uh, always... You can always uh, take a little bit of a break. Glad you're able, you guys are able to make it to the stream. Hopefully that helps with the art block. Who knows? Sort of a little late? No, no. We haven't even started yet. I literally just hopped on. So you're all good. You're not late at, at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Not late. <clears throat> oh, true. Wow, look at that. Joanne on the ready already. <laughs> She's like... Got the finger like ready. Type type in those. Uh, type into the chat. <laughs> yeah, we got um. We got the art challenge foreshortening happening. I'm actually teaching that for my class, or we're going through that with my class, and I haven't uh, really. Um, I need to finish that too. I'm actually trying out the challenge myself, so haven't really quite gotten to that yet, either. So. Yeah. You're playing sunflowers? Oh, that sounds awesome. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little eh, icky. But, uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a disturbance. Um, give me a sec. I'm going to start soon. I'm just going to create a save file so Krita hopefully it doesn't crash on me. I'm going to call this Snow. And we're going to name this the snow file can you guys believe it it's already 2024 i know we streamed already it like but other than the ama stream with jesse this is my first first solo stream of the year oh my goodness it's crazy it's it's unbelievable this is my first job oh really whoa no way well welcome Flight, flighty, flighty feathers. Say, oh, really? You too? Uh, soul, soul the narrator. <laughs> Is that a Dark Souls reference or something? I don't know. Soul air. No, I don't know. I've never played Dark Souls. I played like the other ones, like Bloodborne and Sekiro, but I feel like I had my fill of of from soft games and i'm like i don't think i want to play dark souls right now i will take a break but i want to play elden ring haven't played elden ring yet I've seen the other members stream oh okay well welcome uh i'm josh i'm kind of like the animator here kind of in a way 
I'm the animator, but I mean, I, I, I also draw. But we do streams here <laughs> where I animate yellow. Just the, uh, yeah, I, that's true too. I am the animation <laughs> instructor. You know, that, that sounds funny because it's like, I am the animator. And it's like, no, that, that, that makes me sound like I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I am not the an, uh, animation. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm the animator of all time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm the animator of all time. Uh, flip a clip. Nice. Uh, only, okay. What? <laughs> well, I don't know about the one and only <laughs> guru about that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the respect to animators is insane because it is, it is so much work. It is such hard work. If you question Josh, you about to go <laughs> just like uh the invisibility cloak i will make you disappear as well <laughs> that's how it goes yeah uh, uh okay let's see i'm gonna start soon i'm just gonna get the uh rigmarole out of the way as usual our intro to welcome everybody in so yeah we're gonna do the intro and then we'll get started with the animation so hello welcome to our stream if you don't know who i am as you can see by my avatar on my screen yeah i am josh i am one of the instructors here at wing canvas i'm more specifically as we've been kind of joking around <laughs> in the chat is that i am the animator at wing canvas so i kind of do all the animation streams so if this is your first time welcome and if you are a returning fan of ours in our community well welcome to you as well this is the first stream that i'm doing in 2024 solo so that's kind of that's mind-boggling. The years have gone by so quickly. It's it's crazy. It's it's mind-blowing how much time has passed. But um, if you don't know who we are, we are Wing Canvas. We are a YouTube channel where we make art tutorial videos on tips, tricks, and drawing advice to better help our fellow art nerds in this art community of ours. But we are not just a YouTube channel. We are actually an art school that originated here in Canada. We offer a variety of classes that range from drawing foundations to cartooning and anime um, to painting and, of course, animation class, which I teach. Um, so if you've been wanting to improve your art and get feedback from one of our amazing teachers and artists, then I highly recommend signing up for one of our classes. This is the best way to get immediate feedback, get draw over so you can see what you can improve on and fix. So I do highly recommend if you are curious just to check out our website and see if there's any classes that kind of, kind of tickle your fancy or if, or anything. And if you'd like to support us further, we also have patreon where you will gain access to bonus perks such as um feedback from one of our teachers here record classes file accesses to one of our classes or stream demos as well as emotes and member badges so if you want to continue supporting us further we do have a patreon uh, we are also on social media so be sure to follow us on uh, Discord, Instagram, Facebook. This way you'll never miss an out on an announcement, discounts on classes, our live streams, as well as the artworks that we make on stream. So if you kind of like what we made here on the stream, Discord's kind of like the first place you'll get posted. And then later on down the road, it'll be posted on Instagram and Facebook and uh, our YouTube community channel or like that section of YouTube as well. So those are just multiple ways to find our art pieces. But yeah, that's the little intro. Welcome to everybody. So, uh, hopefully, if uh, hopefully everybody's doing well, and we're gonna get started. So, if you guys don't know what we're doing, we are gonna be animating snow. Okay, I say we, but it's really just me. I'm an <laughs> I'm animating snow, and I think on the community chat section i'm pretty sure uh animal in the snow one i'm just gonna like check just to make sure now, i'm pretty sure the last time i took a look it was animal in the snow you know i kind of wanted fantasy snow globe to uh win <laughs> not gonna lie i was like oh, i kind of want to draw a snow globe and like do some like fancy funky kind of i don't know design on the base of the snow globe but <clears throat> animal in a snow globe that is a good kind of uh uh, you know, middle of the road, kind of appealing to both sides. That's true. Why not do both? 
Uh, <laughs> we could do both, but you know what? I'm just going to stick to it. I'm just going to draw, uh, not necessarily maybe an animal. I'm just going to do a creature, maybe, uh, just because I realized maybe drawing a snow globe might take up too much time. So we'll just stick to the animal for now. Beyblade guy to draw as cats. That sounds intense. That sounds really cool, though. Tomorrow's stream, yeah. I mean, you, that yeah, that sounds pretty crazy. That's like a, such a interesting uh, idea. Beyblades, man, that's like a blast from the past. Do they still have Beyblades? I'd be surprised if they did. They probably do, honestly. So what I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw a penguin sitting or yeah sitting on top of a lynx in, a, in like while snow is lightly falling onto in in the scenery lightly falling in the scenery so i don't know if i'm going to do like a snowstorm or anything like that probably not but i was thinking like oh we could draw like a little uh penguin <laughs> i don't know uh riding on top of a a lynx or something or maybe not even riding. Maybe I was thinking like, oh, the penguin is like sleeping next to the the lynx. And that could be like a nice little shot there. So maybe I'm going to do that. So I found some references here. I'm actually maybe going to just take away the animation timeline. Because I don't need it for now. Uh, so this way I can just focus on the drawings. And the references and yeah oh you know what? i totally forgot about the weekly shout outs or like the monthly challenge <laughs> shout outs oh oh well okay hopefully it'll give iggy some more options to do <laughs> my bad but for those who don't know we do a monthly uh challenge and we do kind of like these every month is a different challenge and this month is a foreshortening challenge and typically what's supposed to happen is that before the stream starts like the official thing we usually do a little bit of a shout out to people who have submitted to the to the uh you know the contributed i should say to the uh, challenge and i I guess because this is the new year, I totally forgot <laughs> that we do that. So that's kind of uh, jokes. I'll get to it next time. But, you know, it just means that uh, Iggy has more options to pick from. So, you know, maybe he'll like that. He'll be like, oh, sweet. I have more options to pick from. Great. <laughs> yeah. But that's a good way to get a shout out from us if you want. If you're like, hey, you know, I have some really cool artwork I want to submit or show off. That's the best way. It's kind of uh, the the uh, the monthly challenges because uh, we keep an eye out for those. If you guys want to have a little bit of like a public display of your work in front of people. Yeah, so my goal right now is he figured featured six. Oh my goodness. You know, sometimes I'm like, I don't know how many to take because there's some that are like so good that I'm like, I don't want to pick all the of like the good ones and then, you know, leave leave some of like the okay ones to, <laughs> to Iggy. And so I kind of feel bad if I take all like the take all of them and then he's like left with like three drawings maybe even if they all are like super good i'm like oh i want to show all of them and then next thing i know or realize like i took up all the drawings and iggy has like none to show off and i'm like oh whoops kind of took all your <laughs> took all the drawings iggy my bad kind of thing so yeah try to keep that in mind when i'm looking through the the monthly challenges and and everything a lynx so yeah so what we're drawing is a lynx uh i have never drawn a lynx before so i thought it'd be kind of cool to draw a lynx and i'm gonna try to maybe like change it up we're gonna maybe push the shape of its uh mane because it's got a really cool mane and I don't know if you guys were there when me and Jesse did the AMA drawing 
and you probably notice I can't draw cute stuff or like I don't typically draw cute stuff so that's not my thing I feel like my go-to approach is like the more hard-edged very rough very sketchy approach to drawing creatures and animals um, actually is the music up oh there's no music right I didn't even put it on jokes Okay. Hopefully there's some music playing and hopefully you can hear a little bit of it. It should be coming in. So I realized I didn't even like put him on music. He oh did he miss the week before? Okay, great. I'm not <laughs> it's not just me. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A haircut as a critique for a class? Really? Oh that's cool. A haircut. Give it trim. I I just got a haircut, so I, you know, I'm kind of curious as to what every. Well, actually, no. You can see what we all look like because we're our faces are in the um, are on the website, but that's when I had long hair. I recently got a haircut, so my hair is like, and it's it was not a good haircut. So I got my friend to give me a haircut. You're looking fresh. I well, I don't know about that, Kevin. <laughs> I don't know about if it looks fresh. You might see it and be like, ooh, yikes. It's uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> kind of haircut it's like one of those haircuts you know where i went to the barber and he spoke mandarin i don't know mandarin and i was just kind of like uh haircut i'm here for a haircut <laughs> and and then he just kind of gave me something he gave me something it, it is the haircut of all time kind of haircut <laughs> and then you know and then my friends all son and then we kind of were just like hey you want to cut my hair you want to trim it and he's like sure i've never cut hair in like forever i'm like you know what it I, I don't, at this point i don't really care you can give me whatever haircut you want if it looks terrible it is what it is it doesn't matter <laughs> he doesn't like it oh yeah you know i never liked haircuts as a kid so i feel like that's just carried over you know who haircuts are just they make me kind of flinch a little bit they make me a little like ugh, you know so i don't know haircuts are not not for me they are not my thing let's see what is the uh, okay never liked them as a kid one time my dad gave me a haircut uh, when i was younger and it was so bad we went some to like a uh, gathering like a friend's place or something and i just hid the whole time because i was like i can't let people see this haircut it's so bad so that's kind of me and my haircuts never liked them he spoke man i hope it, yeah exactly i went in there and he was like hey do you want do you want uh, sh uh hair wash and a cut and i was like nope just a cut and but he spoke to me in mandarin first and i'm not mandarin so i had i was like i don't, I don't know how to tell you what cut to give me <laughs> so yeah that's the uh, that's the thing but you know they, they kind of expect it because the place that i go to there's a lot of like people who go there who aren't like chinese either so i mean like part of me is like you know you should probably know how how to cut other people's hair you know hopefully possibly maybe this links is interesting can you guys tell that i've never drawn a links before <laughs> <laughs> it's 2020 oh google that's true could have done that yeah that's a good point kevin why weren't you there when i got my hair cut you have given me the advice of just using google <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah animals are not my go-to i typically just draw people so i'm trying to i'm i have google right next to me right now so i'm kind of looking up images because i want to draw the links kind of turned and lying down but there's not that many images of a lynx lying down so i'm like i don't know exactly what it might look like also i want this like you know what 
because it's snow the snow's not going to be too big of a problem i feel like we're just going to be drawing these i'm going to be painting a background and coloring everything and then we're going to be animating some white dots going through uh like going in front of our image so it's kind of nice and simple so that's why i'm kind of taking a chill right now and just drawing trying to figure out the overall composition and everything I'll say, say, oh kevin can you speak mandarin too you know what be funny is like kevin speaks mandarin for me not not even uh not even um not even uh with google translate take in chill you say i know press x for doubt <laughs> i say that every time and then it's like oh wait we only have like 15 minutes left i don't know do we have enough time Okay, let me see. I feel like I gotta make the links a little bit bigger. Why am I doing this, Joanne? Why why is it that every time it it shouldn't be that hard, I like decide to pick an idea that's harder than it needs to be? Like so right now I wanna put this like throne chair on top of the links <laughs> so the penguin can sit on top of it and then and then yeah but like uh, i didn't need to do that why do i why did i draw this like traveling backpack traveling penguin this is like a traveling penguin um on sitting on top of a lynx <laughs> things we do that is true that is true i do completely agree with that we gotta have the penguin look the other way penguins gotta look the other way this is a let's see got the arm got the penguin's arm it's got to be holding holding the links you know it's here let me see if penguins ah dang it the picture i found doesn't have it doesn't have the penguin's feet it makes it look like i just don't know what penguins look like at this point it's like what why do you need to look up the penguin's feet? Do you not know what penguin's feet look like? No, I do not. Apparently, I do not. You know, I thought they would be yellow because the because of ducks, but penguins' feet are not yellow. They're they're black. Apparently, I feel like this continually adds on to the whole deal of like me not ever playing Pokemon before, and so I should draw Pokemon from imagination of what I think they'll look like. And I feel like this adds on to that aspect because I'm just like penguins. Yeah, what do penguins look like? Just gotta draw these penguin. This penguin. Why? Also, why is this penguin riding on a lynx? You know, why does it need to travel with a lynx? Who knows? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. How did I not find a reference of a penguin sitting on top of a lynx on a chair with you know reins and a harness on this lynx? How? I gotta live by my advice right like find find references how could i not have found a reference of this penguin this magical penguin <laughs> traveling with the lynx how do i find my art style josh overcomplicate everything yeah exactly yeah 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 drawing animals is easy humans are where it's hard you know that's what me and my friend are like too he only draws animals and i only ever draw people and so i can't he draws animals like instinctually like he's just able to do it out of the back of his head or back back of his mind i don't know and then i'm here kind of just like i don't know i don't know where where things should go I, who knows I'm just I just look up references and then I follow the best as I can to like the images and whatnot. I feel like I gotta make this links way bigger. Like this links is so small. Yeah, that, that was better. I'm gonna maybe just can I? Oh, I can't. No, never mind okay no that's mm. wait hold up yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good hey yep. okay here we go 
here's my rough of the of it plants and backgrounds <laughs> plants are good you know every time if i'm like not too sure about what to draw plants or still life objects are kind of like a good go-to that oh that is my art style that's true i'm just catching up with chat right now it's just like my art style is over complicated well what, what would iggy's be you know does iggy over, like sometimes i see the stuff he draws and I'm like dang how do you how are you drawing all this all this stuff also with jesse as well jesse's drawing all these like fully colored fully rendered the line work is so like clean and i'm just here still figuring out <laughs> where to where to put the the size of this this links and everything it's it's insane but i guess that's the neat thing about art right it's like everybody's got a little bit of a nuance to the way they draw oh newt oh my goodness newt newt oh wait what is that pingu no is that is that where it's from pingu <laughs> favorite sections of the zoo oh man i haven't been to the zoo in so long he links him a lot oh my oh that's the pun that's the pun you guys are talking about <laughs> i feel like you know this is not a real links because i've definitely gotten the proportions like way off some or something like the arms placement of the arms feel a little a little strange but you know this feels more like a person lying down than an animal like oh i can see that you draw people but not but not <laughs> back of his hand i think is the phrase back of oh is it back of his hand okay yeah yeah maybe it could be probably drawing act yeah it's like oh i can't make a normal animal look like an animal i'll just turn it into like an anthropomorphic animal that's that's good enough <laughs> but then they don't need to animate yeah yeah oh yeah exactly i used to watch a show where the meme yeah yeah exactly the um... they're <laughs> bred differently that's true hello sky welcome to the stream is it Pengu? I feel like that's Pengu. Pengu? Is that where the show is from? Let's see. Pengu. Pingu. Not Pengu. Pingu. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a blast from the past. That's crazy. Oh, there was this meme from like that from pingu can't remember exactly what it was a pingu it was such a you know that era of tv shows maybe it's still like that like this now like i don't know maybe i don't know if things have changed but i'm like man that era of tv shows like kids shows back then that was that was something else <laughs> those shows were built different you know Uh, oh, you know what? This this penguin feels like it should have a backpack on. So, why am I doing this? Why do I do this? No, no, no backpack. We're not giving it a backpack. <laughs> that just makes it way too complicated. We're not giving it a backpack. I'm just going to figure out how this penguin is supposed to be sitting on top of this um, lynx. And we're going to call it a day in terms of that. I'm not going to add a backpack to it. We're not, <laughs> not backpack. You know, it's okay. It, it already looks like it's carrying a backpack just due to the way that the penguins like patterns are and, and everything. So we don't need to make, give it a backpack. That's, uh, it's already too complicated. Re like we got to remember, I got to try to animate this afterwards as well. So, you know, it's, um, you know yeah <laughs> you gotta you gotta try to figure it out but here's the i mean we're already giving it a seat too like it's ha it has a chair that it's sitting on 
and everything. So, and then its feet are kind of like here, I think. Something like that. Let me see, what is a penguin's body? Yo, penguins are chonky. They are so, they're like a giant pillow, actually. Now that I look at it, they're like, it's kind of, they're kind of goofy looking. <laughs> kind, of, kind of funny looking. But in like a very, you know, funny, funny, adorable kind of a way. So. Backpack penguin. Uh, <laughs> I can't. There's no. I don't think I can fit it in. A backpack penguin. It's just not going to work. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of Lord of the Rings. You know, the, um, the, those that that clan that rides the elephants but this time it's a penguin it's a penguin that rides a lynx i don't know if, i forgot what they're called the all oh the the what are they called they man my my brain is like blanking out so much on like words these days yeah taking the ring to they are taking the ring to mordor <laughs> do a backpack do it it already has okay fine you know it originally it was a chair but now i guess it's a backpack it was originally just gonna be a chair but this is like traveling penguin i guess on top of a lynx and everything they're going off on an adventure okay five minutes left in stream when does it end? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't scare me like that, Kevin. Got my eye on you. All right, no, no, but like the elephants, the elephants had like this very specific name to them. That, that when like I heard it, I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. That's a good name for the these like elephants, mammoth, mam. Mama kill yeah 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 because it sounds like mammoth I don't know I like that name what kind of elephants elephants yeah elephants or something uh what am I drawing let's see CJ we are drawing a penguin riding on a domesticated apparently uh lynx so yeah <laughs> yeah this this uh. Penguin has somehow domesticated a lynx and uses this lynx as a means of travel somehow. Don't don't ask how it's possible, but it is apparently it, 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 he this penguin somehow managed it. It was is it, it was possible. <laughs> Looks really cool. Oh, thank you. Let's see. I'm okay. I, I think I got the position and the angle that I want for for the, like the lynx and the penguin and everything. And so now I'm just going to try to draw the face. Give the face some justice. Do the face some justice. That's a weird way of saying it. Give the face some justice. Do the face justice. Let's see, I'm gonna just see if I can find a picture of a lynx just lying down and not obscured by snow. Google is Google Images is failing me. Yo, their fur is insane. It's so poofy. Maybe that's the thing. Uh, I've got to make this the. I've got to make the uh, the hair just slightly poofier. Oh, what was it? It's uh, his dark material, I think, where one of the character rides like this really big Lynx character. Or I think it's because it's what it's the character's familiar. It's this giant Lynx cat, which I think is like really, really cool. There's something about Lynx. Lynxes? Like, what's the plural for Lynx? Lynxes. There's, there's just something just innately cool about them. Just Let's see. I'm trying to zoom in on the face so I can see what this face looks like. Penguins have knees, do they? Oh my 
Their legs are so small. How do they have how do they have legs? That's crazy. That even doesn't even sound like plausible. How, how do they have knees? Here on YouTube? Can we submit a challenge? Oh. Did you? Oh, did you? Oh, that's the messages. Okay. Oh, that was pretty good. No, but see, like, I want... Okay, I, I'll use this for the hand. Because that's a good picture of for the hand. That's... Thank, thank you, Kevin. I'm trying to look for a photo where the head is down. But every photo that I find, the Lynx is, like, hunting. Or something. And I'm like... Do we not have a photo <laughs> of a Lynx just normally looking you know just chilling i want a lynx that's just chilling you know but apparently all lynx lynxes are always just on the hunt they're always just on the hunt. <laughs> okay that i don't know if that can that counts at this point it just feels like you're sending me cat photos I mean, they, technically, that's what it is. It's just cat photos. Uh, let me see. Might have drawn the eyes too far apart. You see... Actually... No. It gave the right distance. It's just the slant. Slant's a bit different yeah, let me see let's I want I want to make this kind of like Shere Khan where he's just like it looks like maybe this lynx is scowling in a way it kind of doesn't appreciate the fact that this penguin has decided to claim that it's uh it can use it as a travel traveling means use it for traveling purposes there you go well you know what i owe a debt to this penguin i will offer up my services as a as a vehicle means of travel you know <laughs> right on procreate Oh. oh, has anyone used uh, Dreams yet? Has anyone tried it out? I know it's been a while since it's been released, so I'm pretty sure, like, like it's kind of like a late question in a way, I guess. But I kind of feel like there was a, quite a lot of commotion about it when it first came out. And then after that, I feel like I haven't heard anything from it in a while. Cause I don't have an I don't have an iPad, so I can't I can't use it. So I don't know what what are the thoughts people have right now about Procreate and everything. Dreams looks awesome, but I definitely haven't tried it. Yeah, yeah. Link's taxi. Oh, you know that's actually kind of that's a cool suggestion. Yeah, what if in this universe, Links, Linkses, Links. Links are used as taxi services. <laughs> That'd be kind of interesting. I think it's the neck. You know, I was missing the neck. And animals have this, like, strange way of how their necks come in front of their face and everything <clears throat> the penguin clearly saved him I can't. <laughs> yeah yeah you know what I want to true yeah try search close up links sleeping in for man that's a lot <laughs> that's pretty long 
I appreciate all of the uh, effort in uh, helping me find a Lynx image for for this. Let me see. Uh, oh, did anybody watch Boy and the Heron? Been asking some of my students about like whether they've watched it. Some people were like, "Oh, plan on watching it, but haven't yet." But anybody here checked it out? Small, a lot of words or big live chats. What is that? What do big big chats mean? Oh, you mean like a lot of people in chat? You know, I don't mind. You know, if there's a lot, if I'm noticing that there's a lot, then maybe I might look at the chat a bit more frequently just because it's like, oh, a lot of people are asking questions or maybe they're talking about things and I'm like, oh, I want to, I want to be a part of it. But if chat's a little bit more like tame, more subdued, then maybe I'll just be like, oh, okay. You know, it's kind of chill. I can like focus a little bit more on the drawing a little bit sometimes but I don't I don't mind either I think both both are good and let's see the leg I feel like I made the leg a bit too uh, you know I'll, I'll move it up a little bit more the thing with like links that I'm noticing now is just like they have so much fur they're actually like absolutely ginormous with their fur and so there's a lot to uh there's a lot that just obscures their body and i'm I, i'm like drawing and erasing i'm not doing that on purpose i just like draw and then i'm like okay good and then i notice something that i should erase and then like i don't switch it properly Okay, we're pretty good. I think this is a pretty good rough. We'll use this to build off to make the final version, I think. Let me see if there's any like interesting tidbits on the links. I'm going to actually make the eyes just like a little bit further apart. Because I think I made mine maybe a little bit too... A little bit too close i want to give it kind of like a little bit of a angry ferocious feel to it you know just to make the links feel even more uh menacing we'll give it a give it a a, a brace like a bracelet <laughs> i don't know why but I've got like yeah 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 that that makes that makes the links look more intimidating. Give it a give it a outfit because uh, yeah that that's how links look. <laughs> oh yeah, Jesse's one. Oh cool, no way, nice. Boy and the Heron is good. Oh hey Joanne, you watched it? Nice. You know what I was surprised by that it was a full packed theater. I was not expecting it to be that packed. And then when we went in, uh, a little unfortunately, got in a little bit late. And I was like, oh, you know, it shouldn't be that full. You know, like I heard it was doing, if me is that, it's like it's doing okay, but not doing like that great. And then we walked into the theater and it was completely booked out. And I was like, what the? That's not what I was expecting for. I was not expecting it to be like completely booked, which was kind of cool. He's a battle links. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I'm just slowly getting more and more influenced by uh, his dark material. I don't know the Golden Compass series. I don't know if anybody's like watched that or like the show or like the movie. Honestly, the show is pretty good. I like the show. Yeah. They did. They did win. Wait, did they win? I. I only watched like the recap for Golden Globes, so I didn't like catch all the winners. Yeah. 
It's a battle. He is a battle links now. Golden Compass. Yeah, I never read it as a kid, but the show was good. I watched the um, the the HBO His Dark Material show. That's pretty good. I like that one. And I feel like I'm just like slowly getting inspired by that, where I'm just like, I I want to draw these like big, big animals, like you know, I don't know, inspired by. They're like bigger than life a little bit. They're not fully realistic, but they're like kind of getting there. You know, I just want to keep making his arms bigger and bigger. Just making them just more and more built out, you know. Where is this? Okay, I'm getting this from somewhere. Because I've seen this before where their Lynx's ears kind of like curl up like this. Like I swear I've seen this before. Maybe it's from like a comic book. I don't know. Yeah, Golden Compass. Yeah, I never read it, but a lot of people were reading it. Love the movie and the heart is blocking it. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see what you're and something. I watched the movie and something and I can't see what it says. <laughs> the Battle Links. Yeah. Stanley Parable. I have played Stan. Oh, and I loved it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. Stanley Parable. I have played Stanley Parable. That game is so good. I played it. You know what? Like I was thinking about it. Twenty. I think that game came out with, like what twenty around the 2012, 2013 era of games. I was thinking back to it. Man, that was such a good era of games. I feel like a lot of people kind of forgot, forgotten about that era. And I think everybody kind of thinks of like 2007 and like 2008, but 2013, 2012, 2014, like that was a good decade of, of games. 2013? Yeah, see like 2013, that's like what, Bioshock, Infinite, Last of Us, Stanley Parable, I think Gone Home and Transistor also came out around those times. Like, like, ooh, that's like a such a solid series of games i'm always surprised like i feel like people kind of don't mention those those years everybody kind of just forgotten about about those years uh okay the ultra Deluxe. little witch academia Oh, you know what? I was surprising. I like My Little Witch Academia too. <laughs> story was okay. It, it's like endearing, fun kind of a story, but uh, the the um, the animation, the art style is just so good. Yeah, for that series, it was really cool. The animation was really good. Ultra, you know, I played Stanley Parable as it came out, so I never jumped into the deluxe aspect of it. But I heard it's worth it. I heard it's really good and everything. So, <laughs> yeah, the the characters and like their friendship and just like the camaraderie with everybody in in the show is just really good. It's really well done. I like it. I'm going to quote unquote clean up the line work, but I'm going to leave it a little bit like slightly loose and sketchy and the animation. And then I'm going to put like a kind of uh, bill or block behind the images so that uh, the snow can appear in front of it. So snow, I think it's pretty straightforward. It's just little pieces falling in front of things you know, well, that is literally what snow is. Uh, if you've never experienced snow before, but it kind of, because it's light, it has like a larger mass and maybe like a lighter weight kind of, well, I guess it depends on what the type of snow than rain does. It kind of floats down and it's a bit fluffy. Although, you know, if you get harder snow, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty, you can get pretty intense. Dude, is anybody here from canada oh my goodness the recent weather has been insane it's been so cold oh my goodness it's been absolutely 
horrendous the 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 weather i like go out and walk the dog and it's just like oh my goodness um what am i drawing i am drawing a penguin who rides on top of a lynx and it's they're gonna be in kind of like a snowstorm not really a snowstorm but it's gonna be like a snow falling down it's gonna be chill you know as as joanna like to quote it's gonna be chill wink wink we'll we'll see how it goes <laughs> But um yeah it's um drawing a lynx being ridden by a penguin why uh why not is what i ask you know like why not <laughs> negative 3 yeah okay so i'm i believe so it's like what negative 14 for us now but i think it should feel like negative I think it feels like negative 20 almost is so bad oh my goodness her dream was wild <laughs> yeah the show i love how you draw the hair it looks so fluffy oh thank you yeah i'm um, you know i i like the way that i like approaching fur is to kind of imply that there's breaks in it rather than draw every single connected hair so that's how i like to do it uh, of course everybody has a different approach to it and everything um yeah and i'm also treating it kind of like in a sketchy way too so like i'm not trying to make sure the lines are super clean necessarily but yeah you know live a give a little diamond diamond in the in the hair it's got them super i don't know intense eyebrows <laughs> we'll, we'll see how these <laughs> maybe a little bit too thick i don't know <laughs> we'll see uh maybe i might thin them down a little bit We're from europe oh nice 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 usa usa yeah the fahrenheit you know, I've gotten pretty good at estimating roughly where, like, the temperature, like, the transition without actually calculating it and just eyeballing it roughly as to, like, what the temperature might be. I would say I've gotten pretty good at it, you know. Obviously, I'm, like, off a little bit, but gotten pretty good. Went to, like, Florida recently, and I think it was, like, 50 you know, I underestimated how cold Florida can get. I was like, yeah, it's not going to be that cold. It's Florida. Florida's hot. I don't need to bring a jacket. I don't need to bring a sweater. And then nighttime came and it was like 10 degrees. And I was like, oh, made a mistake. It does get cold in Florida. <laughs> Who knew Florida gets cold? Uh, I should have learned last time. Like I've been before during like the winter to like... Uh, disney world and, and whatnot as a kid and it was like not too bad but i always thought like oh it's, it's like okay but i should have learned my lesson at that point should have realized it gets cold it gets cold in florida who knew yeah night is freezing yeah i think it's because florida doesn't have um too much humidity in the winter so it's a very kind of dry type of a cold whereas here in canada we have more of like a humid cold i believe i might be wrong i i'm not a meteorologist so who knows <laughs> i might be getting them mixed up but it's like the cold is different i was surprised how cold 10 degrees was in florida or maybe again it's just that whole thing of like for some reason my brain was like yeah 10 degrees isn't cold but 10 degrees is cold but i don't know i was like oh it's florida's florida's 10 degrees it's not the same as our 10 degrees <laughs> can't think yeah it's like in the 70s right now oh that's that's good you know 70s is like the perfect perfect weather isn't it I feel like 70s is like the perfect weather because it's not too cold you can wear a sweater and it's not bad it is half working <laughs> no worries can you imagine like drawing and talking 
like drawing and talking is so hard. <laughs> Sometimes I don't I don't understand how Jesse can talk so fast while drawing because I'm like I gotta concentrate. I gotta concentrate. I can't I can't draw all of this. Maybe I shouldn't have it scowling. I don't know. Are you going in the summer? I would not go like in the summer because I've heard it's like insanely hot in the summer, which totally makes sense. <laughs> See, that's what I always expect out of Florida is that it's insanely hot. But I guess that's only in the summer. In the summer, it's really hot. But any uh, literally any other time, it's totally it can get it can get chilly. Try painting and typing. <laughs> I feel like it's one or the other. You can't type and paint at the same time. You gotta... It's a sacrifice. Do you paint or do you type? Which one is it? <laughs> can't do... Can't do both at the same time. I've never been into... Is it fun? I mean, if you like theme parks, then... And if you like the Disney property I guess like their movies and 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 everything that they have then yeah it's pretty good I like it but I know that like sometimes people like theme parks aren't for everyone which blows my mind because I'm just like but it's so much fun how do you how do you not like theme parks that's that's so strange to me but apparently that's the thing some people just don't like theme parks I don't know what I'm doing with the mouth. What, what is this? I don't know. Does this look like a lynx? I feel like it kind of does. There's a Disney Paris if you're close to it. Oh, oh true. Right. Yeah. Someone said they're in Europe. You could go to the, the Paris one. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you enjoy it, it's it's a lot of fun. You, I will say, they put a lot of effort into the way uh, the park looks. So it's really, honestly, like even if you don't like theme parks or if you're not a fan of Disney, I don't think you can deny the fact that they do so. They put in so much effort into the way the park looks and the just like the. The, the organization and the thought that goes into everything that's there it's it's absolutely it, it's so it's so cool to just admire like you can't help but just respect the artistry that goes in into it is my is my two cents on it kind of thing so i think like it's worth it to go just to check it out see how it is but it is expensive so definitely understand if it's like oh i can't go to it right now it's like yeah yeah that makes sense that's fair i would need to take a plane that's true yeah you do like disneyland disney movies and theme park yeah so you know i think it's worth it you can't air conditioning when you can't <laughs> yeah 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 Is Disneyland controversial? Is it? Is it just like because it's a uh, smaller, like controversial in that way? Like the which one's better, Disney World or Disneyland? I've never been to Disneyland, but um, oops. I feel like regardless of which one you go to, it's, it'd be like cool to walk around in and everything. Planes are so, <laughs> they are expensive. <laughs> Traveling is expensive. Vacation is expensive. Nothing's, nothing's not expensive at this point anymore. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It should be the shoulders, maybe. I need to make the shoulders a little wider. You know, actually, I realized I have this whole thing with animals 
riding on top of like other animals as like means of travel because i've done on my instagram when i tried to do inktober this one time i drew a tiger like a cowboy tiger riding on top of like a reindeer <laughs> so i i don't know there's something just like interesting about that i don't know it's it's kind of like there's uh, there's the implications of the power struggle between animals i don't know i find that like interesting on the big show and big sh big shot big shot i can't see it the heart the heart emote is blocking it the big shot animation meme what's the big shot one <clears throat> <coughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the whole thing with, like, which one's better. It's, like, is it Disneyland or Disney World? Because, like, one came before the other. But, you know, what? I think at the end of the day, it's just, like, whichever one you enjoy, you know? They both offer something a little different from what I've heard and everything, so. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, yep. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I would love to see what you guys are working on. If you guys are in the Discord, <coughs> excuse me. If you want to post on a Discord? Uh, some of us, uh, some of the instructors go through it. I know for sure Iggy is like pretty active. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Sorry, something's like caught in my throat. Iggy's pretty active on the Discord, so. And uh, I go on it once in a while, but definitely nowhere near as much as Iggy. <clears throat> or even Shield, for that matter. I think, like, Kevin is on pretty, pretty frequently. <coughs> yeah. So, oh, Delta Rune song. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Delta Rune, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe if I heard it, actually, might I might kind possibly know what it is. I just might need to hear it or something. You know, as as like these streams go on more and more, I feel like that meme with um. The guy who was like, "How's it going, there, fellow kids?" <laughs> kind of thing. That's what it. That's what I feel like. The more and more I stream, the oh, what Steve Buscemi? Yeah, Steve Buscemi. <laughs> like that meme. I was like, "Hello, there, fellow kids." Like, yeah, that's that's what it feels like. More and more as time passes on. <clears throat> Undertale sequel. Oh, yeah. I still got to play Undertale, too. Uh, what is it? Jesse was talking about it when we were doing the AMA. I was like, yeah, I've never played it. Undertale. And she was like, what? I was like, nope. Uh, I mean, I plan to. Don't worry. I plan to for anybody kind of like, what? He's never played? I plan to. My sister has told me how good it is. So it is on my list of games that I will play eventually. Pokemon is unfortunately not one of them. I do not, I don't think I would ever play Pokemon. It's just too, it seems too time consuming. So I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Actually not we'll see, cause I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna play <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Skateboard, I yo, how'd you know? That's what I look like right now, Joanne. <laughs> just kidding. Can you imagine? I'm just, I'm always with a backwards baseball cap while I stream. I gotta get in the zone, you know. Gotta feel, gotta feel hip. Yeah. The fellow kids thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hello there, fellow kids. I still haven't played Undertale 2. Oh, hey, yeah, I'm not alone this time. <laughs> Someone else who also hasn't played 
Undertale, hey. It's okay, we're on the we're on the same boat together. <clears throat> You know, I'm gonna give this tiger like this like strip down the down the mouth. And then be like edgy edgy links. <laughs> what who will do? I've heard it's like uh, kind of emotional, you know, but again, I know nothing about it because I never played it, so I would not know. <clears throat> it's a game. I, I know it's a game. <laughs> nice, nice. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> you also haven't played it. A fellow non Undertale player. Um, I I think it depends on you. I think it's okay. There are a lot of students who've taken my classes who don't necessarily have the best uh, drawing experience either, and we kind of take it a little bit at a time. Cause so the mentorship class, the animation class that's kind of running currently is actually a mentorship class so it's uh i kind of help students along uh kind of in a way individually so there is still like an, maybe an assignment that i'll give out but i kind of if students want to learn something sp specifically or if there's something they want me to kind of help them out with um uh, that might be a little bit dip different or separate from the lesson. I do take the time to kind of walk through those things. So if you want to, one time one student wanted me to just go over and animate in the anatomy in the animation class, and so that's kind of what I did. Went through anatomy, walked through like what's needed and like how anatomy works and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, so you can definitely for free for. Feel free <laughs> to join the animation class, even if you feel like your drawing chops might be not the best. I think that's totally fine. I think that's okay. <clears throat> For sure, like, being able to draw is a big help, but um, we gotta start somewhere, I would say, you know? And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely also just down to help people who need help with uh, drawing anyways, so... Yeah. <clears throat> so, say maybe I after I take you, I'm gonna ask for your class. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's very. It it's not like the. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you. I will run through everything because at the end of the day, it's still an animation class. But I am open to. Uh, helping out with certain topics, just because they, in a way, all art kind of ends up having certain similarities and certain kind of um, um yeah, similarities but i can't i can't think of i'm blanking out on the word but um there are certain things that are the same for for them so yeah <clears throat> Three to four weeks. Oh boy, that's a long, long time to approach an animation. <laughs> but I, I, animation is not. Yeah, it, it takes a while for sure. <laughs> it just looks, it looks funky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no worries. The <clears throat> anatomy is like one of those where I think a lot of you'll hear it a lot. I mean, like we say it too. It's like learn anatomy. That's like one thing to learn, but it's 
definitely one where I think it's more probably beneficial to learn it a little bit later. So learn some of the drawing foundations first, like um, perspective, form, structure, like understand how to capture volume in things, because uh, that will make drawing way easier. You know what? I'm just going to give a kind of scarf to this penguin just to make it a little bit more uh so-called my version of cuddly <laughs> definitely not like iggy's approach to cuddly iggy draws in like very pastel-y and um and like and i'm just like black and white sketchy lines scratchy lines and everything <clears throat> why does a penguin need a scarf i don't know why <laughs> penguins should be able to survive but who knows our virtual classes are paid ah yes the classes are class like classes that you do have to pay for yes Yeah, the live streams give you a little bit of like a sample as to kind of like our different personalities, the different teachers. So like if one of the teachers are like, oh, I would love to learn from this person. Like this person seems, this instructor seems like it matches my my tone or like how I like to learn. Then that's kind of like why we do these. So you get a little bit of a take on, uh, get a little bit of like a preview on what it's like to learn from one of us and everything <clears throat> this little i don't even know what that is i guess it's like a sleeping bag Joanne, I feel like it's coming to that point where I'm still drawing it. I haven't even animated, <laughs> animated yet. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, we're drawing. And there's like, oh, wait, I got a time limit. I have to anim <laughs> the animate soon. <laughs> and I'm still drawing the penguin and the, and the links and everything. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. Yo, that sounds lovely that sounds so comfortable <clears throat> yeah that sounds good you know what like when there's these are very like rare moments but for me like my go-to movie to watch when it's raining is uh the sound of music that sounds like such an old thing to say sound of music it's my go-to music to listen to when there's a rainstorm happening it also it's contradictory because I'm like, oh, when it, there's a, um, when there's a, when there's a, um, a blackout, so power outage in a rainstorm, that's when I want to watch Sound of Music, but obviously that's not possible because there's a blackout. <laughs> but I don't know, that that's like the vibe I get to watch Sound of Music. It's such a good movie. So I don't know, but that's like my rainstorm movie is Sound of Music. It's not a snowstorm though. I feel like if it's really cold, I wouldn't watch Sound of Music. Uh, I'd maybe watch some like action horror movie, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Realize this is way too thin. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of tangents. I feel like if I were to redraw this, I would maybe recompose it so that things like the harness and like the the penguins' feet are a little clearer. But <clears throat> I think this is pretty good. It's not too bad. That's true. I can't anime without the base. It's all about that base. It's been 78 minutes. 
<laughs> Don't worry, we got time. We got uh, 45 minutes to animate snow, you know. <laughs> Fangan doesn't pack freezing cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've watched March of the Penguin. That was... Man, that was uh, Morgan Freeman and the Penguins. That was a uh, that was a movie. That was uh, I feel like made everybody like, oh, this is what penguins are like. Oh, that's so sad. Wait, what? <laughs> they have to huddle for warmth. You mean you'd mean to tell me that penguins can't survive alone in the cold? What? What is this madness? Um, but yeah, it does suck. <clears throat> Sound of Music is so good. Uh, that's such a childhood movie for me. I haven't watched it in a while because there haven't been a lot of blackout rainstorms in a while. But, you know, it is, a, it is a, one of my favorite movies, I would say. Oh. Whoops. Accidentally drew in the wrong color. <clears throat> in anime, yeah. Oh, you like to draw your OCs. Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, my pinky. I've been drawing the whole day today. My pinky is starting. Pinky knuckles starting to get a little sore. Anime people. Nice, nice. That's, I feel like that's also kind of my, my go-to as well you know we're just gonna give this tiger this lynx this lynx is edgy you know it's got it's got these things coming down its face <laughs> I'm gonna make it go maybe this way instead this lynx is uh it's myth 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 mystical you know it's a mystical links it's not a normal links you know so <clears throat> what about you joanne what do you like to draw on your downtime on your free time do you have a go-to thing Oh, just not extreme weathers. Oh, I see. I like to draw legs and arms. You know what? Yeah, like hands and and feet are kind of fun to draw they are especially feet you know feet are kind of funky they're, they're kind of weird in terms of their shape but honestly they're they're interesting to draw <clears throat> and everything they really like drawing backgrounds and details drawing slower oh are you a fast are you a fast drawer? Drawer? Joanne? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen any of your drawings, Joanne, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know what type of stuff you like to draw. Backgrounds and details. No, oh, backgrounds are fun. I want to do maybe more background studies as well. Draw too many draw too many people. Yeah. Gotta go back to Back to the basics. Uh, let me see. This backpack. I feel like the backpack kind of got lost on this penguin. There's no backpack. Yeah, that looks kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if I should add a backpack. Kind of doesn't match the penguin anymore. I don't know. <clears throat> one or two colors really interesting i see i see haha ha, ha, ha. so funny <laughs> do drawing tablets work on desktop yeah yeah for sure like if you only have 
Yeah, yeah. I think it works. Trying to draw slower too. Not a, a fast draw at all. Oh. Yeah. You know, it's... um. I feel like for me as well, it's like... Drawing... Going back to traditional drawing is like maybe go like, oh, let's take my time. You know? Like, take the time with the drawing. No need to... No need to rush the pieces or anything. So, for sure. There's one buff links. Uh, okay, we're almost... I'm almost done with the links. So, I think those are some bad lines. I'm gonna turn the canvas. Uh, but... Yeah, what is it? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, traditional drawing I feel like has has made me more patient. I feel like with my my approach to drawing, I feel like when you draw digitally because it's so convenient and so fast, it kind of almost makes you. It makes me at least want to like speed through it. So I find that like doing dig or not digital traditional drawing has made me like slow down because you got to take your time i don't want to like ruin or mess up anything so ends up i end up being more patient with traditional but that's just me i know that like everybody's has a little bit of a difference in their quirks and whatnot but yeah that's it's kind of me maybe the nose needs to be bigger I keep pressing the the D button makes the makes the ink black. And I want it this like blue. <clears throat> you know, I was actually thinking about expanding the whole like flame rooster lore. I was actually gonna draw this lynx in a suit in the snowstorm. But I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Maybe it could be cool. Maybe down the road we could do. I could do that again. But for now, not gonna do that. Um, okay. So right now I'm going to. Okay, we're just gonna call this line, and I'm gonna call this fill. Yeah, fill. Got this fill. <clears throat> Links and rooster cannon. Oh, you know it. <laughs> I'm gonna just make it a bit bigger. I'm just gonna quickly fill it in. Uh, this one's not. I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about color. I just wanna block it in so that there's something to there's a background because i'm gonna put a background uh so that we can see the snow or else it'll just be a kind of like we won't be able to see the snow at all so yeah I'm just gonna color it in i haven't really decided on the color yet but if anybody has any color suggestions for the links, if chat has a color suggestion for the links, or maybe the, the color of the, the scarf for the penguin, you can put it out, put it down. Maybe I'll consider it. It's not. It won't mean that I will you pick it for sure, but maybe I'll consider it. You know, it'll <laughs> it'll be something that I'll think about. You know, a beige orange. For the links okay you know i was actually thinking of orange or green for the scarf gray with brownish spots red orange phil i you know the moment i need i said phil for the layer i was like uh <laughs> phil yeah, i just thought of the name as well kind of like a modern family that's like the first thing i think of phil for modern family what a good show Modern Family was so good. It's such like a relaxing sit sit back and just like not have to like stress too much type of show. You can have like in your background. 
blue links. What about yellow? Okay, wait. I just like can't catch you. What tablet is it? Oh, I'm using a Wac Wacom. Wacom. It's a Cintiq. Uh, but this is kind of the older one, so I think this is Cintiq Pro 13. I think it's a little bit on the older side um, and everything, but <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's not do a simple. Let's go with a circle. Let's go with circle. I'm gonna make. Ooh. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> Maybe something like that. And should we give a blue background? Let's put a blue background. Why am I doing all this? I don't know. I feel like. Uh, let's see background ooh that's ooh that's not what i want that's a bit too too saturated for my for my tastes i don't know we'll go with something like this maybe actually uh maybe we won't go with well you know we'll be graphic we'll do something graphic here we won't go with we'll just call this circ circ cintiq pro a yeah a blue lynx. Are you doing a rewatch of Modern Family? Dude, you know what's crazy is that when the show first came out, I always thought that the kids were a big part of like the cast. And then after I started rewatching it or watching it from the start again, I realized that they're not. They're barely in the show. Isn't that crazy, Kevin? It's like, I was like, wait. The adults are kind of always there, and then the kids are actually not that frequently in the show. I was, like, so blown away by that. It was crazy. Or I found it crazy because as a kid, I always thought that they were kind of, like, up front and center, only to find out that they weren't really that prevalent in the show. It was kind of interesting. A little bit of a shock to me when I, when I like, realized they're not really in the show that much. Good attempt. <laughs> Is that the opposite of the cave people family show? Wait. <laughs> like the crudes? Uh not not I mean that's a funny way of putting it. <laughs> but no. They're um I forgot what they are. They're it's kinda old at this point. It's uh pretty it's a pretty dated not dated, but it's just a it's a pretty old show at this point. Uh, but it's just followed a family from like, in what is it like Southern California, I think. And yeah, you're kind of just following, following their lives <clears throat> and like the stuff they get into as a family, as Vin Diesel would say, family. Show you, let me make this part, the penguin and... Let's make the scarf. You know we're gonna go. We're gonna go green, green with the scarf, just slightly, slightly green. <clears throat> with the penguin. Uh oh, backpack. True. Gotta put the backpack on the penguin. Penguin is also white, so we'll go with a slight, a slight white for the penguin. Uh, what did people say? People wanted orange. Okay, beigey orange, right? We'll go with that. That's like a safe color for for the cat. Uh, that I feel like is a bit too skin tone, skin tone like. You know, I kind of like it blue. Not gonna lie. Is he sitting on the back? <laughs> uh. No, <laughs> he's not sitting on the backpack. What would make you think he's sitting on the backpack? 
Um, it's like a chair. But what if the backpack turns into the backpack turns into the chair, you know? It's a magical backpack full of magical properties. <clears throat> and then we'll get to animating soon. Just gonna block. Just gonna block all this in. Blue tinted gray. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of giving the the top fur kind of this purplish color instead. I feel like that's kind of different. You know, that's a little bit nice change of pace, I feel like. <clears throat> and then, yeah, the bottom, I might actually darken it a little bit more so that the gray has a bit more contrast to it. So, yeah, you know, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to color it all in over here. I feel like I'm doing a comic book rather than uh rather than uh <laughs> drawing. I haven't drawn I don't think I've drawn like this. Uh well I guess the the rooster is pretty close to something like this. I guess. The rooster is like well I treated the rooster as like a monochromatic drawing, but this this <laughs> looks funky. Hey, you know, he's a traveling penguin. He's got a, you know, He's got to do use what he's got. The backpack there, he's going to sit on the back. <laughs> he's going to sit on the backpack. <laughs> he's um he's a traveling penguin, you know. He's got to use what he's got. <laughs> we don't question, don't ask him about don't ask the penguin about the backpack. You'll have to deal with the penguin's wrath. Ask me about my backpack one more time. Um, actually, let me... Oh, I took away the references. Yeah, maybe something, something like that. I don't know. It's a little, it's a r little rough with the, uh, with the, uh, with the fur on the top, but you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. That's you know, honestly, that's okay. It's not too bad. A prime for a story. <laughs> How do I keep the color? Oh. Well, well. So first, I had the line art, of course, and then I did a f uh, overall fill first. So I didn't worry about the colors or the shadows or lighting, and then I lock transparency. Actually, I don't think you guys can see it. Hold up. Um, so I think you guys should be able to see it now. There's this option over here and what that does is that it allows you to just paint inside of your fill without having to color outside so i click that and then i don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines or anything like that so that's basically what i did yeah yeah <clears throat> uh and i think that's it okay so now we're gonna animate snow i know after all this time finally he animates snow. Oh my. Oh my lord. Okay. 
gonna unpin all of these because we don't need that well we all we need is snow and let's make this start clip one that's how i like it uh and we'll just do i feel like we don't even need that many frames i feel like i could get away with like almost 20 frames and we'll be good um <clears throat> Yeah, mm, oh, this one's gonna be a tough one. You know, we'll do we'll do blank. I think that might be a bit easier. Then once we have it there, I'm going to well, let's just check my onion skin. Onion skin is good. I'm just gonna turn it down to only seeing the first frame back and front, and then I'm gonna lower the opacity just so this way it's not too overwhelming. Um. <clears throat> yeah that looks good so i'm gonna just lower this because that's literally the only layer we need i'm gonna save so krita doesn't crash on me so i have the overview on the side over here just so that you guys can still see what the actual drawing looks like because while i'm animating i'm going to be zooming in and out and i still want you guys to like be able to see the the piece clearly so yeah that's what uh that's what i'm gonna be doing and uh yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see it. I'm just trying to check uh, that everything is lined up. I, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. Okay, I think that's good. You guys should be able to see everything. <clears throat> Having the side view. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta let me catch up on the chat. You say book bag or backpack? I've never heard anyone say book bag before. What? What is a book bag? What? <laughs> I I say backpack clearly by my confusion with book bag. How do you? And I answer that. A prime for a story. Yeah, you know, Kevin, if you want to start writing a story for my characters, I'm all for it. Um, for a while, I'm gonna take a semi nap. No worry, soul. Don't even oh, don't even know if you're if you're still here, but hopefully you're napping well. Um, we have snow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you timed that perfectly. Did I? Wait, that's that's funny. Hello, Gabe. Uh, Krita. Yep. Why is it called onion skin? Do you know where that comes from? I'm assuming it's because onions have layers. Like the way Shrek intended it to be. <laughs> so they have layers and then as each layer goes on top, it gets it covers up the translucency and you can't see too much of like the under layer. So that's kind of what onion skin is like for animation is that you want to see what came before and what came afterwards. But then as you add more and more onion skins, you, it's harder to see the previous or the uh, further down the line kind of uh, layers. I, that, I know that that was a terrible way of explaining it, but basically onion skin just allows you to see the frames that came before and after and you can control how many frames you see before and after your current frame uh but usually the frames further down and the frames further forward ahead of time it makes it um you you see less of it it's not as op opaque yeah yeah having the side view Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah, that's true. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, having the overview there. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, snow. I'm just going to have snow be pure white. This way it kind of disappears into the background and then it also goes in front. And I'm going to have the snow be, let's see. I do not want it like that. I kind of want it in this lighter type of thing. So I think I'm going to have it like like that. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to create a blank frame of animation. So as you can see on my timeline, if you guys are new to Krita, that's when you know you have a blank frame. That's when you can start animating and that'll be nice. And then I'm going to turn on onion skin, which is this light bulb on the right hand side over here of this layer panel. And you need to turn it on so you can see um, <clears throat> what what I drew beforehand, because I do still want to in a way track the snow so that's what i'm going to be doing 
and the snow is going to be just coming in lightly so i'm not going to draw like a blizzard or anything so this way i can kind of just keep track of some fluff of snow falling down lightly <laughs> yeah oh yeah that would be cool with like the blue and everything uh actually i'm gonna keep it blank and then have it so that the snow is just slowly coming in uh, let's put it yeah so i kind of wanted the white to uh slowly break in that's what i wanted so there's nothing there uh hold up okay so now as i draw this i'm gonna just yeah i'm just gonna draw one and i'm gonna see how how it looks so what i'm doing is straight ahead meaning i don't have to worry about planning it or anything i think of what i'm trying to do is just see the pacing of the snow and see how it looks and because this layer is on top so this is kind of what i wanted which is to just have the snow obscure or not obscure but go in front of our drawing kind of thing so let's see how this looks i don't know yeah that's too fast okay so i'm just gonna draw slower which is why i wanted to test it out see how fast it would be i should have had a feeling that it would move like really really slow <laughs> it, it would like need to be way slower than that but yeah the green dots make it really helpful oh yeah for sure yeah the the green dots make it so that i know where it, i last drew it and that's the point of onion skin so that's kind of what's happening right now is i get to see where my last uh drawing was and i can kind of just follow through with it and i'll also kind of be adding more snow on onto it as it's coming down or else it'll feel a little bit too barren probably well here's the hard part is like probably down the line i'm gonna have a hard time uh keeping track because <laughs> be too much snow there's gonna be too much snow coming down i'm gonna have a hard time keeping track but also we'll see and you know what maybe i'll play around with like this the speed editor so that i can like see how much how much snow or how slow i can make it or i can just like slow it down maybe i might speed it up so if i don't end up finishing the snow today or like during stream i might just fix it up and touch it up a little bit afterwards uh off stream i mean is, is what i mean yeah 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 keeping track that's that's the that's the annoying thing which is fine that's kind of part of animation so that's why i was like you know what we'll keep it to 20 frames and we'll see uh i might have to extend it down the line just to see how how well it transitions because that's gonna be the the big big part so I changed my brush to be a softer one just so that the snow doesn't feel too overwhelming and everything. And you know what? Maybe I'll play it just so I can see. Oh, there's no snow. What? Just so that I can see. Um, roughly how fast it's moving. Eh, you know what that's not too bad i might maybe it might even space it out so we might need a few more frames you know what i guess i guess i underestimated my need 40 frames <laughs> get 40 uh i think i'm also just gonna space it out we'll animate on twos I'll give the falling down of snow a little bit more time and hopefully that'll allow for it let me see. Yeah. It's dandruff. Dandruff is coming down. Can you give up? It's devastating. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I've been using clip, flip a clip. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Religion project? Oh, interesting. Man, if you guys do like animation for school projects, that seems so intense. Because it seems like that'd be so... Animation is so much work. Well, it depends, I guess, uh, what type of animation you're doing. But man, if you guys do it for school work, that seems like so much work. Yeah. Yeah, the, the reason why I chose white for the background, like just kept it white instead of that blue beforehand, is so that the snow looks like it's just coming. It, it kind of blends in with the background, making it kind of like an artistic take on the snow rather than it just being like realistic. Because, you know, what's the point of realism when you can animate anything? So, yeah. Do you enter late at some class? Like down like the the term has already started? That's totally okay. So a little bit of each class is a little different. Um obviously each teacher might approach it a little bit differently, but for me each class tackles a different subject matter. So Sometimes uh, there might be a lesson that continues, but the way that I've structured lessons and classes is so that even if you miss one, it's kind of okay because it's still just covering up, covering a topic that's pretty uh, big and like well, well known or like well known and basic enough. Like it's always going to be about the foundation. So you'll never feel like you're missing out too much is how I would say is that it's like i gotta like remember to add in more snow or else it looks like the saddest amount of snow coming down which might take a while honestly this is the part of animation where it's not the most flattering it's literally just gonna be me dabbing dots dabbing dots dots coming in we da we got dots they're coming in I want to draw some animals yeah uh, animal anatomy well i feel like i never went through animal anatomy but yes jesse i believe jesse went through animal anatomy for sure yeah i feel like this would make that would look great as a sticker oh thank you yeah i've i'm you know if i have trouble figuring out like what i should draw it's just like oh just go for something graphic meaning like it's not, like not realism it's kind of more of a illustrative design poster aesthetic rather than like trying to figure out a background or proper lighting necessarily it's a little bit more illustrative leaves it a little bit more open to how you want to how you want to do it and everything did in three days dang oh yeah you can join now I, I guess i don't know if joanne answered probably answered it so like if you join now it's totally okay you there might be maybe like some stuff that i'll reference that uh you might miss out on but in terms of like the lessons i'm approaching it kind of like it's new just because every term, so there's some new students who join anyways. And so, in the end, I go through stuff that um, everybody's kind of learning for the first time, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm explaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just explaining it now, Joanne. But, but thank you, thank you. Yeah, they're structured in a way where we'll go through... you. Like you can kind of drop in and it'll be, it's fine because then you won't miss too much, but it's also somewhat connected where like some of the lessons you might miss out on, but in terms of the fundamentals, we're kind of going through it with everyone anyways. So yeah. Tricky thing about snow is like, I feel like I got to also remember to move them in, in a direction. So like they can't just go straight down or it feels like rain i gotta have them move move in a direction 
and move that bus. <laughs> I feel like I say that every now and then. Also doing drop-in crit. Yeah, yeah. The drop-in is definitely an option that is a thing that you can test out first if you're not too sure. <clears throat> a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you get all our attention, basically, if you do a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Josh and Iggy streams are chill. What about Jesse's? Are Jesse's streams not chill? <laughs> Shots fired? No, I'm just kidding. We all, we all have a different energy from one another, which I think is like what makes it interesting. Makes it different, which is good. You want a little bit of difference in everybody's streams. I guess I need more than 40 frames. <laughs> ah. Actually, let's... I'm going to save it. Let's just play it. Let's see how it is. Oh, oh, look at that. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> and there, there was a person that asked me to pay them for them to do a commission for me. They basically asked me for my. Oh, wait, what? They asked you to do a commission, but they asked you for money? That's, that's interesting. <laughs> I can't imagine having full attention. Nah, that's that's what you want. You want our undivided attention. <laughs> but when me and Jesse do roast streams, nah, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know the chill factor. Yeah, yeah. The weird way to start <laughs> start the year with a roast. We didn't start the year with a roast though. We started the year with um with the AMA. With the draw your draw the usernames, but yeah, roast would be an interesting way to start start the year. That would be kind of funny. Honestly, I just like trust the process, man. Like when I was doing this, I just couldn't help but think, like, man, these look like sesames on a bun. I'm like, will this feel like snow coming down? I don't know. <laughs> it just looks like just feels like sesames on a bun and i'm like i don't know about this <laughs> but you know now now that it's moving it's actually not that bad it's, it's coming along pretty nicely let's see we got 10 minutes left um we got a lot of time but if you enjoyed the stream and you like what we're doing here feel free to subscribe and like the stream it helps us a lot and it also allows you to be notified of upcoming streams just like Egg iggy's stream tomorrow actually maybe i could ch i should check what he's streaming tomorrow <laughs> uh let's see la, la, la. let's see he is streaming what day is it tomorrow tomorrow's 21st uh 21st why is it down oh anime cats and drawing anime as character oh right yeah he put a poll out for like spider verse right i think that's the one that won is it or i might be thinking about a different stream but i feel like he had one of the poll options be um spider verse and i was like oh spider verse with cat characters that's kind of that's kind of neat that'd be kind of interesting to see <clears throat> don't google drive <laughs> you know why it because it makes it you know just when you don't put it in the google drive it's like well how am i supposed to find your drawings it's fine i think it's because jesse's done it already before and she's been through it so she knows how annoying it can be and i'm new to it so she's like oh it's cool it's chill it's not that bad and then it's like no it is bad <laughs> Trying to see if there's snow. I didn't put any snow coming in front of him. Okay. Oh, there's one right here. It's so hard to spot spot the green dots now. I'm like, where are the green dots? Where is the snow? Where is the snow coming from? Okay. I'm just gonna save it again. And let's play it. Wow, it's like Christmas. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love burgers. Burgers are so good. Sesame Seed Sun. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, bup, bup. yeah, it's on our Discord and everything. Is it too late to start making? No, it's never too late. It's never too late. <laughs> you have always till the end of the month. And I think, actually, I don't know. If if you miss the month, I don't know if you can still post. You probably can, honestly. But it just might not be, um, uh, like, used on our streams or anything. Just because it's past the, past the date already. <clears throat> yeah. Is this Spider-Verse? Did Spider-Verse win? Of course it did. Of course Spider-Verse won. <laughs> Kevin even made a gif of one? Really? Wait, a gif of what? Cats? A gif of cats? If we're so long for the second part. I know. But you know what? Everything that's worth waiting for feels, you know, that much more enjoyable i guess I, I don't know what i'm saying it's like a weird way of putting it but it's you know all good things come to those who wait is basically what i'm saying <laughs> but it was so good oh man that that ending i think is still so well put together i'm not gonna spoil it for anybody who's not watched it but i think it's one of like the best put like built up endings for for like a superhero movie you know in a long time maybe i don't know if i would be like oh it's the best ever but like it's a really really well built up ending it's so good oh wait for the next challenge or oh, no no oh you can post them forever yeah that makes sense if you can post challenges forever yeah it just might not be um highlighted spotlighted on the stream just because the challenge is done but yeah <clears throat> group classes yeah there's one uh running right now um yeah uh... wait what gif did i miss i missed the gif what gif did you make kevin Oh, okay. Hey, okay. I'll see you there. Coke, Coke, Coke. I, I, I don't know. Men, uh, Mendez. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, if that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to seeing you in class. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. We did just run through the basics of Krita, so maybe. If you wanna, if you wanna test out Krita, I don't know if you've used it or not, or if you were able to. I would say watch our tutorial video on Krita, just so that you're familiar with uh, how it works and everything. Yeah. <laughs> they are random dots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how do you? Oh, right. Yeah, that, <laughs> that chip. <laughs> Dude, that was so long ago. I, I was like, what are people talking about? What chip? Yeah, that's why while I was drawing this or quote unquote animating this, I'm like, man, I'd, it just looks like sesame dots on a bun. And I'm like, I don't know if it'll feel like snow as it comes down. But then, you know, once it's moving, it's like, okay, yeah, that's kind of like snow. That's moving snow. Um, But yeah, what was I saying? Before I, I kind of lost tr my train of thought. But it's just like subscribe because, you know... We post a lot of tip videos. Recently, we've been posting a lot of like uh, tips on commissioning, which is great. I think that's like a super, super important one, especially if you do plan on doing some freelance work for art where you search out your clients or the clients come out for uh, look for you. So it's good to know those things. Um, and it also lets you know what kind of upcoming streams are coming up next, as well as polls. So. The reason why I'm drawing a, a, a lynx and a penguin is because the winner of the poll for what I was going to animate today was animals. And one of the options were like a snow globe and I, I forgot what the second option was. I think it was like some fantasy creature or something. But 
people voted for animal, surprisingly. So that's why we're animating a penguin on a lynx. <laughs> this is such a weird like transition of like, yeah, animal. What am I gonna animate? Ah, uh, yes, a penguin on a lynx. That's the that's the go-to answer <laughs> for the animal option. <clears throat> oh, band. Nice. Oh, hey, that's awesome. Yeah, glad. Can't wait to see you in class. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. I have YouTube. That is also an option. This is technically also why we do these, is so that, you know, if you can't, afford them or if you don't have the opportunity to pay for them that's totally cool because we have these so that you can like still learn art or like see at least some process of drawing so even if like we you know i know that jesse goes a lot pretty in depth on like the actual drawing like step by step and breakdown whereas i'm more of just like in the moment kind of walk through it and talk about it as I'm drawing uh, but I think like even if there is no like breakdown step-by-step -step process you can always just watch it and there's always a lot to learn by just watching people work you get a little peek behind the curtains as I like to say as to like the thought process and the thinking behind each artist yeah and yeah oh we got like what two minutes got one minute oh my goodness okay uh let's see how this looks i ended up animating like 50 frames oh my and let's see oh you have clip studio x okay i feel like clip studio is it it's not the pro right so clip studio x limits you to i think 24 frames per animation so you can still animate on clip studio if that's your program of like preference but it might lock you if you don't have Clip Studio Pro. Yeah. Only <laughs> Yeah, it's uh it's it's a little unfortunate, but yeah. You only have Clip Studio Pro? Well, you should check. So just check if it locks you. Uh it basically it's the same as Krita where you can when you open up the file, you can choose how many frames you want your animation to be for Clip Studio. Uh, and then if it doesn't allow you to pick more than 24, it means you're locked out. Oh, X is better than Pro? Oh, okay, great. So, you probably have unlimited frames then. <laughs> yeah, so the basic version of Clip Studio caps you. And then the, the super version, the expensive version of Clip Studio is the one with unlocked. Yeah. Oh, right, I should play... I should play the animation. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm just like, just letting it stay there. Yeah, I mean, it's a lit, it's a little jittery, but you know, it's snow, it's it's falling down, it's 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 cool, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, wow, it is five o'clock, so that's the end of the stream. Man, that's that was fast snow does snow does what snow wants yeah exactly it's is it snowing outside i don't have a window um where i'm at so like i can't really see but i did hear that it was gonna snow but um thank you everybody for joining us um i will be saving this as a gif and an image so that you can see it uh maybe i'll have one with the snow and one without the snow on discord and then later on it'll be shared on our social media so again as always, if you want to, you know, uh, keep up to date with our posts and images, follow us on social media, on Discord, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we post a lot there of our finished pieces. So this way you can see it in, its, in all its glory, just in case like YouTube has like compression on the image and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and remember to like and subscribe so this way you support the channel but then you're also updated on when we have our upcoming streams and videos and you can also see what's coming up down the road uh, and if you want to support us further feel free to support us on patreon this way you get a lot of perks 
such as the emotes and the members chat only critiques as well as a recording so if you that sounds interesting to you uh maybe check out our patreon and that's kind of it for the stream thank you everybody hope you all have a great weekend and i will see you on the next stream and definitely look out for iggy's stream tomorrow it's gonna be a great one iggy is great so yeah have a good weekend everybody Bye-bye.